There are two American families who hated each other so much that their rivalry continued for 30 years and their feud is still widely known about today even though it began in the late 1800s. Those two families are the Hatfields and the McCoys. The Hatfields were wealthier than their rivals and were better connected politically while the McCoys were lower middle class. The Hatfields made their money in logging and the McCoys had farms and both groups were involved in selling moonshine, which was common in the area at the time. Both families lived in either an area of West Virginia or the Kentucky border, with the McCoy family on the Kentucky side of the Tug Fork River, and the Hatfields mostly residing on the West Virginia side. During the American Civil War, both families fought for the Confederacy, with one notable exception. Asa Harmon McCoy joined the 45th Kentucky Infantry and fought for Lincoln and the Union, who would shoot and kill a friend of Devil Ants Hatfield, who vowed revenge. Asa was then killed by rebels in 1865, 13 days after leaving the army, and Ants was a suspect, but it was later established that he was homesick at the time. People believed it was in fact his uncle Jim Vance, one of a group of men who were in the Confederate Home Guards who killed Asa. This was just the first act of violence that would go on to see the deaths and imprisonment of dozens of people. Thirteen years later in 1878, there was an argument about who owned a hog, Floyd Hatfield or Randolph McCoy. It went before a justice of the peace named Anderson Hatfield. The testimony of a man named Bill Stanton, who was a relative of both families, though distantly, gave the victory and the pig to the Hatfield family. Stanton would later be murdered by two McCoy brothers, Paris and Sam, who successfully argued that the killing was in fact self-defense. Things got even worse when later, Rosanna McCoy left her family after falling in love with Johnson Hatfield and going to live in West Virginia with them. Rosanna tried to return with Johnson, but the McCoy family arrested him under bootlegging warrants and Rosanna had to run and tell the Hatfields what was happening. He was released after the McCoy family, who was transporting Johnson to authorities, was surrounded by Hatfield family members, and they agreed to go their separate ways. Soon afterwards, Johnson left a pregnant Rosanna for her cousin Nancy, who he married in 1881. A year later, Ellison Hatfield was murdered by three of Rosanna's brothers in a drunken brawl. He was stabbed over 20 times and eventually killed by a gunshot. The Hatfields would get their hands on those McCoys and, after tying them up, would go on to shoot them over 50 times. There were more provocations and shooting incidents leading up to the New Year Massacre in 1888. The Hatfields surrounded a McCoy cabin and started shooting at the people sleeping inside. They lit the cabin on fire in order to get them to come out, killing two children in the process. Randolph McCoy escaped with the rest of his family and they wound up leaving the territory. This would be the very end for many of the Hatfields involved in the feud. Those involved were arrested and brought before a judge to stand trial. Seven of the men got life in prison, and the eighth, Ellison Mounts, was hung, with thousands of people watching, and his last words were, The Hatfields made me do it. Those days are gone now, and the remaining descendants of the families made peace a long time ago. Both families were guests on an episode of the game show Family Feud in 1979, and Hatfield and McCoy Heritage Days are jointly held in Pike County, Kentucky, every year.